This Good To Go segment is sponsored by Spectrum Health Medical Group. The 4th of July holiday is just two days off and already you can hear folks gearing up and getting out those explosives. In fact, there are new safety concerns this year brought on by the COVID pandemic. Dr. Alastair Chapman joins us from Spectrum Health to talk safety and treatment should the worst happen. Good to have you, Dr. Chapman. Why are, are, are you in particular concerned this year? Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, you know, our team here at the Burn Center is very concerned about July 4th this year. Across the country and in our own community, we're seeing a spike in, in sales of fireworks as a lot of municipal shows have been canceled. And in fact, probably the majority of them across the country, folks are taking celebration into their own hands. And we want to play a part in encouraging people to do this safely and also to understand the risk associated with um, doing these kind of events at their home on their own. Yeah, because in a good in a good year when there's not some kind of a pandemic bearing down, there are concerns uh, and real ones about burn injuries, right? That's correct. That's correct. You know, at the burn center here uh, at Spectrum Health, we um, take care of patients across West Michigan and even into the Upper Peninsula, and so collectively we see injuries from fireworks um, every year uh, from across uh, the the coast of West Michigan. They're often disfiguring injuries, they're often disabling injuries, and for the most part, they can be avoided. And we wanna encourage folks as they celebrate this July 4th to do so safely. Okay, and you've got a lot of terrific advice, but your first piece of advice is, hey, why don't you try to celebrate the 4th without fireworks? How do they do that? Give them some ideas. Yeah, that's correct. I, I think when you work in my profession and we take care of trauma patients and burn patients that you become very risk averse. Yeah. Many of my friends and my family, they would say, well, you know, Alistair is, he's boring. <laughs> but when you, when you see what we see come through the doors, uh, you come up with alternative ways to celebrate. So, you know, we encourage folks to use glow sticks, uh, to use noisemakers, um, uh, to enjoy family and friends. Um, but fireworks can be very dangerous. Um, they uh, often burn at heats between 1200 degrees Fahrenheit and 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And so it only requires a very momentary contact with these to have an injury. And frequently we not only see what we call thermal injuries or burn injuries, but we also see blast injuries. And like mm -hmm. I said, these can be life altering uh, events for people. We've seen um, patients that lose limbs, lose hands, lose function, uh, and and we would much prefer to have a quiet <laughs> July 4th and not have anyone come through our doors with these injuries. And so now's the time for us to get out there and 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 educate the public. Yeah. On potential risk. So for those families that still, it's a big part of their tradition. They're going to do the fireworks. You have some some safety tips for them as well. Some do's. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. You know, usually I would encourage folks to have the most experienced person um, igniting uh, those devices if they're using fireworks. Use one at a time. Uh, we recently even had a patient that um, ignited an entire package of sparklers, and traditionally sparklers are assumed to be a safer uh, firework, and, and when yeah. you ignite those together, um, the effect becomes amplified and that person sustained a very severe burn to their hand. Uh -huh. And so one at a time, uh, the most experienced person, um, but truthfully, I would encourage folks to come up with an alternative. And then if someone were to sustain an injury, a burn or, or worse, um, first aid, what, what do they do? Yeah, so I think the most important thing to do is to first um, to uh, stop um, uh, the, the fire or the flame or whatever is causing the heat. Um, a bucket of cold water, like you mentioned, is important. And then following that, I would go to your local emergency department. We're prepared to uh, take care of these patients. Um, this is what we do day in and day out. And we have an expertise to care for these patients. And as I mentioned earlier, a lot of these injuries, especially with fireworks, occur at um, extremes of heat and the injuries can often be quite deep. And so if you do sustain an injury, um, a thermal injury or blast injury from one of these devices or fireworks, I would definitely encourage you to get in contact um, with our center. We're one of the only burn centers in Michigan and, and we're happy and proud of the care that we provide to these patients. 
All right, so prepared to take care of them, but you don't want to. Dr. You Chapman, got it. Thank you. thanks for spending some time with us. Yeah, thanks so much for spreading the word.